Hi guys, it's your girl Cynthia Maggie and I am back. This, this video is dedicated to Mama Amuwu, the dishonorable member of the House of Reps or Lagos State House of Assembly who went on the floor of the house talking about how social media is a menace in Nigeria's economy. So of everything in the world, a dysfunctional government, a, an economy on life support, an absence of health care, no good road network, safety out the window, security operatives oppressing the masses, unemployment at a very high rate. Of all of these problems, social media is the problem in Nigeria today. That's what the government want to tackle. It is not unemployment that should be the bane or the reason why youths will come out and begin to misbehave. There are unemployments in so many countries of the world, even the, in the United States. Really? Well, madam, as of April 2020, the unemployment rate in the United States of America currently stands at 14.9%, and it is touted to be the biggest ever in the world. And we know that here we, act, we actually have cases of real, like we have real cases of COVID, not Nigerian type of COVID. I schooled in the UK and I saw a lot of young people who were not employed, but they didn't become hoodlums. Here she is talking about Nigerian youth being hoodlums. Auntie, Abby, yeah. Don't be the same hoodlums that they use during the election. I've been another kind of hoodlums. Oh, when, they are, when you're about to go into office, they are Nigerian youth. But when you come into office, they are hoodlums. No. Why can't we look inwards? and look for solutions to our problems. Why can't the young people look within themselves, look for their talents? Child, I know she did not just say that Nigerian youth should look inward and make use of their talent. Madam, have you met Nigerian youth? We have doctors being Uber drivers. We have engineers being vulcanizers. We have a lot of people doing interior decorating, shoemaking. We have people. Why? How about creating an enabling environment? What do you suggest that they do with the talent that God has given them without an enabling environment? Wow. Graduates, what stops you from, from becoming a designer or a professional um, tiler or what have you? And make a brand of it. Uh, I'm clutching my pearls. Did she just say? They should become professional tylers. Madam, how many of your children are you grooming to become professional tylers? How many? Oh, your children are the ones that are good to go abroad and study abroad and get all the foreign certificates. And then Nigerian youth should be what? Tylers? I think it is about time. I mentioned this on the floor of the house. Our Benisha, we became um, members of the Ninth Assembly that the National Orientation Agency needs to set to work. We need to begin to um, orientate our young people. This, this lady who is a dishonorable member of the Lagos State House of Assembly is the very same woman who used the palliatives meant for the Nigerian people, for Lagos people specifically, as souvenir on her birthday. You know, there's a problem in the country when criminals begin to talk bold-faced. Like, they stand without any scruples. They stand addressing us like we are the problem. Madam, social media is here to stay. You better get with the program and not begin to magnify your ignorance before the world. A problem a lot of politicians have is that they're grappling with social media. Why? Because they do not update themselves. They do not read. They do not take professional courses. They are just there, stagnant, being liabilities in the system. The problem Nigerian politicians have with social media is not the fact that people are falsifying information because I don't know how anyone can convince me that videos that were live, live videos. I know that Nigerians may be good techie people, but I do not think anyone can fabricate, falsify, 
or manipulate a live Instagram video. I don't know any tech person who can do that. The problem with Nigerian government is the fact that social media has put that weapon in our hands to expose real time what these politicians are doing. So Mama Amu, cover your face in shame. You are a disgrace. Uh, these politicians are not even in touch with life or what's going on around them. They've wrapped themselves in a bubble such that they do not even feel the reality. The truth of the matter is that a lot of people are frustrated. And so they are leaning on substance. And I'm not encouraging it. I'm just saying it's the reality of the fact that Nigerian youth are relying on substance to ameliorate the impact of the harsh economy on their existence. Now, social media is here to stay. Baba Atiyanwa here. Get with the program. I remain your girl, Cynthia Maddie. Until I come your word next time, peace.